Are you fed up with having to go to lots of different websites to do different things? You need a website for your AI image generation, then another different website to make the 3D depth map, then another one to make the STL file for your 3D printing, or your CNC carving, or your laser engraving. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you one website where you can do it all, and it's quick and easy, and it's, it's just absolutely changed how I work. So let's dig straight into it and have a look at it. It is a paid service, but a bit further on in the video, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how you can test it out and try it for free. So let's get straight across and have a look at it. So here we are, we're over on the Sculpt OK website, as you can see. Now, when you come to the opening page, you now have two options available. You've got the depth map generator and the AI image generator. Well, we're gonna do it all in one go, one stop. So we're going to go straight over to the AI image generator. Now this is very, very new. It's only just been released. So it's basically the bare bones of it. What, what you've got coming is very exciting. You're going to have a lot more options to choose from. So you can really dial in your designs. But today, this is just the very first go. So what we're going to look at, I'm just going to put in a very, very simple prompt. I'm going to put in, basically, I want a prompt. I want to make a... A picture of a dragon. I've had a customer ask me, as, as you know, like I've said in the little intro there, if I could do a silver panel of a dragon. So let, let's test it out. So the prompt I'm going to use is this. It's very, very simple. Graphic novel style, a fierce dragon in myth punk, detailed comic book art, real, realistic colour palette. Now you can play with that quite a bit. You can go more detailed, less detailed. You can come up with whatever you want to do. But I'm just giving it pretty much a simple... A simple one i mean you could have just put a dragon and it would have spat something out for you but i want to i want to control it a bit more i want it more comic almost like card not cartoony but a more comic book style now the next little option you've got here is the aspect ratio now that just means what shape you want basically so we just click here and when you click on that you'll see all the drop downs and it gives you the different shapes which ones you can have so i'm just gonna i'm gonna go for something four by three i want a rectangular like landscape looking looking image generated so i'm just going to click there so you just click there four by three and then underneath you've got number of images but at the, at the moment you can only do one that's that's for the future you can do more than one so one selected because that's all we can select at the moment and we just click generate and now like with any ai generation it's gonna go off and do its ai stuff and make the picture for you as you can see it's drawing and then we'll have a look and see what it comes up with right so here we go Wow, look at that. How cool is that? That's a pretty cool. Look at that. It, it does what it's asked it to do. A fierce dragon. Look at that. That would make a cracking panel, wouldn't it? So, what we'll do now, we're going to do everything in here. We're not even going to leave this. We're not going to leave this site. We're not going to go off to other sites to do the generation, the depth map generation. We're doing it all here on Sculpt OK. So, what we're going to do, we'll just save the image as. We'll just save the image out to your computer. And you just do that click of a button so that's now saved to my desktop now what we're going to do now is create the depth map which will enable us to do the 3d rendering basically so we come back over to sculpt okay and we come up over here ai tools and as you can see the very first one depth map generator so we click over here now there we go this is this is the familiar screen if you've seen some of my videos before i have done these before now what we do we just load that image in off our desktop what we've just created. Hi, oh, Silverpunk from the future here. I forgot to, forgot to put in when I was doing the video how you can actually test this out for free. If you look in the description below the video, there's a little sign up link. And if you use that link, you can try and test it out for free. Because as I mentioned in the, in the intro, it is a paid service. But obviously before you pay for something, you've got to test it out, haven't you? So there's a link below, try that and you can have a play about for free. So there you go, as you can see, there's the image loaded in and it's stunning. I'm just so happy with that image. It's going to look so cool. Right, so we've got it there. Now, all we need to do now is turn this basically into a depth map so we can create a, the 3D model to print out or CNC carve or laser engrave, whatever you want to do with it. But I, I do 3D printing because I make silver pores. I make silver in 3D. So I, my end result is going to be a 3D print. So what we do, we come down here, you select what it is. Well, obviously, it's a color image. So you select that and then you just click draw and now what it's going to do now it's going to give me three options three different depth maps and i'll 
just choose which one I think's best for what type of process I'm going to use it for. And you just you get a bit of experience knowing what ones to use. Because obviously, if you're using it for a 3D print, you want something slightly different than if, you, if you're using it for a laser engraving. But you'll see in a minute, as you'll see here, they're all queued up. They're just going to do it. So we'll have a look and see how they come out. And as you can see, there's the first one. Wow. How cool is that? I'm sure that'll come out fab fabulous. Just look, look at the detail. I mean, that, that's the low detail. Look. That's the low detail one. And look how cool that's come out. Absolutely fabulous. And look at, oh, look at these. Absolutely wonderful. I think what, what we'll do, I'm going to download, uh, looking at it, I think the first one would be absolutely fine. But I think the middle one as well, just slightly more detailed. I think I'm going to go for that one in the middle. So what I'll do now, I'll download that onto my computer. And then, again, all in Sculpt's okay. We're not even leaving the website. We're now going to generate the 3D model or render as it were of the panel what i'm going to 3d print and this would be the same if you wanted to carve it a cnc carving you get your stl file and this is what we're going to make we're going to generate the stl file which is the 3d rendering so i'm just going to click download and then we're going to do the 3d modeling right to do the 3d modeling really really simple just still on this page you'll see over here a little button 3d sculpture just click that it opens a new page and here we are we're actually in the 3d generator now this has actually got a new a new little feature it's got model scaling percentage now basically that just ups in in simple terms that just ups the detail level on on the outer outer surface it just makes it more detailed so that's something we're going to play with and i'm going to show you now so first of all we've got to load the image in let me get the image loaded loaded in so you just click load image you just select where it is and as you can see there it is the one that we've just made and look at that if I zoom in how cool is that but we're not finished there obviously you've got more options to to play with up here as you can see you've got a nice relief but I like a for, for how I work I like a deeper relief so it's more raised off the surface so to do that as a little little section here max thickness I just up that to seven and this is in millimeters so I just up it in seven and you watch the image so the image just jump and that just gives you a bit more relief as you can see now and how cool is that now we've also got as i mentioned model scaling so what i'll do i'll turn this down we'll go down to 15 percent see it's not as detailed more blurry and then if you slowly come up you start getting more definition more details and that's how it was 50 percent. now let's let's move that up on, and, and this is something you play with to get the amount of detail what you need for your finished project you've got to have in mind what you're trying to do at the end i mean that would be absolutely perfect for me the amount of detail because i'm transferring this over into some sand i'm going to 3d print it and push it into some sand so that'd be fine but you can go even more detailed if i just scale this up very very it's very hard to see but it just does create more detail as you can see we're just going up the scales that's probably easy when it's zoomed in for you to see. Just very, very slightly. It gets better and better. Until we go to 100. And you got more detail. I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, this, is, this has just changed my workflow. Immensely, I can just do everything in one place. And it's, um, yeah, really cool. I'm just so... For the first go, that image generation, that's what we've come to test. For the first go, to spit out something like that, and, and it gives me something workable first go with no editing to the photo i mean normally when with my image generation i'll take it out i'll have to put it in canva or another program to mess about with it resize edit it upscale it but with this it's just come out eat it out the park first time and i'm sure you'll agree look at that for a 3d rendering very cool and that's all come from our very first image that we created in here so as you can see along the top, AI image, image creator. You just pop your prompt, prompt in there. Let's let's go again. Let's just see if it'll what. We'll do another one. Oh, look at that! How cool is that? I'm loving that. Look at his cheeky face. But again, it, it, it just works. It does what it says in on the tin. So if you are looking for like a kind of a one stop. What one stop does it all kind of program? Sculpt OK might be the way to go. You, you're not jumping about and 
having to make lots of decisions, which AI program do I use, what do I do here, what do I do there, you can do it all, AI image creation, depth map creation, 3D STL file creation, all on the one site. 